Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two Ninja indoor grills. On the left, I've got the Ninja Smart Extra Large Grill. And on the right, I've just got the Ninja Grill. This is their four quart one on the right. This is Amazon's number one best selling electric contact grill. It retails for $230, but you can find it on sale for about $150. Now on the left, the Smart Grill, it retails for about $300, and you can get it on sale right now for about $200. I've been cooking with both of these. Now the Smart one has that temperature probe that you can put in and monitor the temperature. That's a really nice feature. If you don't need that feature and you don't mind ch checking the temperature of your food with a temperature probe, then this four quart grill is also a very good option. So both of these grills have a lot in common, except the Smart Grill has this temperature probe. There's a little storage there for it, and you can, put, you can uh, plug this into the machine, and then you're gonna insert the temperature probe into your food, and it's gonna monitor the temperature on the screen, and also it's gonna shut the ma machine off when your food reaches a certain temperature that, that is programmed in. This Ninja Grill does not have that temperature probe but it acts a lot the same way. You just gotta manually check the temperature of the food. Okay, so let's open them up, take a look. I've got the grill installed on both of them. This one has a little bit larger grill surface than this one, and they both come with an air fryer basket. So these are both air fryers and indoor grills. Now they do have this wire screen up here that's a filter. Now you do need to clean that every so often. You can, you can take that out and clean it. And the heating element and the fan on both of these are up there. There's what the heating element and the fan look like. And over here on the smart one, there's what the heating element and fan look like. And there's those screens that you can take out and clean. So let's just, let's just do some quick measurements. So the grill surface is about seven and three quarters by about nine. And over here, we've got almost 12 by nine. Depth wise, this one is a little bit deeper. So about three inches compared to about inch and a half. Now they both, you can take the, the grill out and then you can put in the basket, the air fryer basket. And then same over here, nice big handles. And you're gonna put the air fryer basket in. So both of them have a really good non-stick surface. This is a very slick surface. I have found that the food does not stick to it at all. These are very easy to clean. They both come with a really nice brush that is it's really helpful to get down in these deep grooves with this brush. They both have a very nice hinge lid. These seem like very well-made machines. So the Smart Grill has like a touch screen. I really like it. You can turn it on and off. It works really well. You can do air crisp, grill, bake. Over here, these are more like buttons, but it's very easy to clean. But these are definitely like buttons that you're pressing. So we can do grill. And you can select different temperatures. You can go low medium and high, different times. And you can do the same thing on both of these, air crisp, bake, roast. And you just hit start, and you just hit start. They both have kind of that same beep, and the fan noise is about the same on both. They kind of start slow, and then they both kind of ramp up. I like this one's got like a nice big handle on the front. When you open them up, they pause, and same over here. Let's go ahead and stop it and stop it. So I like that they both come with a cookbook. Now these are very helpful for learning how to use the cook these. And they also come with a manual that's very descriptive. Okay, so let's talk about the smart. This is where this one is gonna shine. This is this temperature probe. Now you, it's got this silicone, this will not burn. You're gonna put this in the meat. That's kind of a pointy edge, but you're gonna, there's a little spot right here like a headphone jack. You're going to insert it until it clicks. Then this automatically knows that you inserted the temperature probe. You can do manual or preset. I like to do the presets. Now you got to hit grill first, like I was doing some steaks earlier. Hit grill, now preset. Now you can do beef, all these different. Um, you can do pork, fish. Let's go back to beef. Now I can do rare, medium rare, medium, medium well, and well. One through nine, different temperatures that this machine will automatically shut off when it reaches a certain temperature inside the beef. That's a, that's a really nice feature. And again, if I go to manual, I can select the target temperature. 
So in manual, I'm going to say, what do I want the temperature of that meat to be on the inside? I can go 170, 180, and then it's going to beep at me when the temperature inside that meat reaches that certain temperature. And then I'll just show, let's go show you the, the preset. Let's do beef. Let's do uh, beef, and let's go up a little bit. And then let's start it, even though I don't have it in something. Now both of them have a preheat option. You can bypass the preheat on this and it says add food. So let's say we add the food. Now here's where this is gonna shine also. There's the target temperature, 116. And it, the next display shows you the current temperature. That's the current temperature of the food that, like say if I had this poked into the steak, it would read 30 degrees or 36. And then it, you could sit here and watch it go up until it reaches the target temperature. So this display works very well when you got this temperature probe installed. Let's just go ahead and stop it. Over here on this one, you just don't have that temperature probe, so you've got to kind of manually select the temperature. Let's go grill high. I can change the temperature. 400, 500, I can add my time, 12 minutes, then hit the start. Now it's doing the preheat. They both do that preheat option. Both these indoor grills are pretty smokeless if you use the right grease. And that's kind of what the manuals talk about a lot is using the right grease. If you're gonna put like a coating of oil on your chicken or something, make sure you use like canola oil. Some other oils do kind of give off some smoke and they kind of talk about that in the manual. But when you follow the manual, both of them, I did not notice any smoke for say. So they call this the five in one, this is the six in one. This one has broil. This one does not have a broil option. And again, what's really nice about these ninjas is are they, they are air fryers. I've done french fries in them. They do french fries very well. So it's kind of nice having the air fryer and the grill all in one. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.